Designed in 1938, the Anderson Shelter is one of those iconic images of wartime Britain. And at the 1940s Tea Rooms in Havant, they're looking for volunteers to help them rebuild and restore one such shelter. Both for school groups to experience what life during the Blitz might have been like, but also for customers to enjoy a bit of nostalgia. Here at 1940s in Havant, it feels like you've stepped back in time, with vintage crockery on the tables, the music of Glenn Miller in the air and wartime slogans on the walls. We've tried to recreate the 1940s for people um, with de uh, dementia, you know, so they can come back, help them with their memory. Um, it's just something completely different that people can come and see, you know. It, it's, we want them to believe that they're in their granny's living room. So that's why we've got so much memorabilia. We had a young couple um, sat down the other day and I actually heard her say that we've got to go out into the real world. And that was absolutely lovely for me to hear youngsters saying that. The tea room is somewhat of a living museum and Jackie has an interesting addition to her collection of wartime artefacts. We also have the school children in for their World War II lessons. And what we do is we give them Bovril um, spam sandwiches, which they're not really keen on sometimes, but hey ho, <laughs> they have to they have to experience what they experienced in the 1940s. And what we want to do eventually is we want to evacuate them so they know what it feels like to be evacuated out into the Anderson shelter in the garden. The shelter would have been buried in someone's garden to offer protection from rubble and debris during bombing raids, but like so many was repurposed after the war. There was a lovely couple from Porchester had it in their back garden and they'd doubled it up and made it into, well they didn't, somebody had made it into a car garage um, to do um, like maintenance working really, so it's, it was a bit bigger than we expected when we went to take it down. But all the people that we know, friends, family, work people, helped us take it down. And then we bought it back and ever since then it's been in the back garden, I'm afraid. <laughs> we need some help putting it back up. <laughs> it was absolutely brilliant the way it was made into a garage. You know, they had the windows put in, all the old light switches, everything in there. It was absolutely amazing what they'd done with it. The thing is, everybody knows it's been here a while. <laughs> We do mention it quite a lot, that we want it put back. And everybody comes in and says, have you put the Anderson shelter up yet? And we're like, no. <laughs> Still sat on its side. So we really do need to get it up and going. And so if you have the skills to put this wartime relic back together, there might just be some cake in it for you. So I think basically we need somebody with knowledge to put it back how it was. Because my nan was saying to me, you know, it that's not um, Anderson Shadow how I remember it. I said, but that's because you're seeing the picture of the garage, Nan, as it was made into a garage, not, you know, the smaller version of an Anderson Shelter. So, but yeah, I mean, there must be people out there that know what they're doing, because I don't. <laughs> I've just had an offer of some scout children coming to help, so that's lovely. It's a free cup of tea and a bit of cake for them. <laughs> yeah, just come in and see us or phone us up. And so, till we meet again, this is Richard Stringer for That's TV.